Yo, y'all know what it is, y'all know what it ain't. Phone them, phone them mess. This is a sad day in hip-hop. I done damn near lost the energy I had to just go do this block to block I'm finna go do today. But I'm not gonna make this a fancy video with a lot of edits and a lot of pictures of this young man, bro. But he most definitely paved the way for a lot of Atlanta artists. But Rich Homie Quan passed away today after um, an overdose. His family reported, and I was trying to do my best to research this shit. And I found a couple of credible pages, including Squid Ape. When Squid Ape posts your ass... Poof, you're gone. And I'm not even trying to crack a joke in this sentimental moment right now, bro. Because Rich Homie Quan, bro, I'll never forget this, that reload, reload going back again. If I can't remember all the names, top of my head, but y'all know, man. Y'all know that 2013 run he had, bro. I was just turning 18. Him and Thug was going crazy with that. Please get the fuck out of my face. And Rich Homie Quan, man, his sound was so different and unique. He didn't need auto tune. And it immediately stuck out to me, man. You know, his story about how he did them years in jail, came home and tried to rap, and he made it happen. And unfortunately, you know, a lot of things happened along the way, you know, with him and Young Thug and just him and the whole Birdman situation. Rich Homie Quan actually lost himself at a point in his career. Remember when he was on that? He, ooh, the, ooh, 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 on before he was dying his dreads and doing a lot of shit that he felt wasn't him. And I think that's when he really got addicted to alcohol as well. So he cut his dreads off just to get back to the basics. But I feel like he never was able to recover. After 20, 2015 was, i say, like the end of his run with the ooh. Like 2015 to 2017 is when it all kind of slowed down for him. And I believe that's when it really impacted him the most. You know, people say put down the drugs and shit like that. I'm reading the comments on Squared Ape. It's not that easy. Especially if you're going through a hard time in your life. You, people do drugs when they're happy. So imagine when they sag and people stay telling you you fell off. You probably don't got as much money as you used to have. So just imagine the pain he probably was in. Especially being labeled a snitch about the whole young thug shit. The shit that Woody said. You know, that YSL Woody shit just dropped the other day. He probably was in a bad mental space, man, when he took them drugs. But I'm going to leave y'all with that. R.I.P. Rich Homie Kwan, man. Drop y'all favorite songs in the comments below. I'm gone.